Welcome to Fast Tip Friday. This is Amy Bowser Rollins with Litigation Sport Guru. In today's tip, I want to talk about dynamic stamps in Adobe Acrobat. So, one of the legal Adobe Acrobat sites, I found these two dynamic stamps. And the first one is exhibit stamps. So, if you open this PDF, it's actually so dynamic stamps are actually stored within a PDF file that has a form on it. And all you do is place these PDF files into the stamps folder so that they're available to you. So we're going to hit the next. So this is one of the exhibit stamps and this is the second one. It's rounded. And then this one is received and then it plugs in the date automatically and then received and then you can put whatever you want in here and then paid it grabs the date automatically and in this one you can put you know a person's name or anything you want so like I said the stamps are actually PDF files in order to use them, you'll need to put them in a certain folder on your C drive. So I'm going to click in here and then I'm going to paste in the path. So this is where the stamps will be. They'll be in a stamps folder and this is a pretty long path and this 11 is version 11. So if you have a different version, it'll be in a different folder. And then for username, we're just going to switch it to my username. And then when I hit enter, this is where I've placed the two files. This PDF, this dynamic stamp is actually my signature. So I just wanted to let you know where these files should go. And you might need IT's help to place them there if you can't see all of these subfolders if they don't let you have access. Okay, so we're going to go into this file and this is just a sample file. We're going to go to comment and then stamp and then I want to show you the ones that are already there. So standard business has these stamps right here and then Sign here has some pretty cool looking stamps, which you may be using already. And then Dynamic has some somewhat dynamic stamps already built in that say, you know, reviewed and received and approved, but it pulls in the data that it's been set up to do. And you may not want all of that. You may not want, you know, the username and the time and the date. So I thought you might like having these as an alternative. So the fact that I put those PDFs in the stamps folder is why they're showing up here. So here's the exhibit ones and here's the received ones. So let's just choose the received one just as an example first. So when you choose these stamps, you get this dialog box that you can check off to not show again. You don't have to fill it out or anything. Just click on complete. And then here's the stamp, and everybody has their own preferences for where they go. But I just want to give you an example. So because this has a field to fill out on the form, it's prompting me for what to go in there. So if I just want to say, you know, Amy Bowser, then received Amy Bowser. So these are comments. You can click on them and size them down. Make them whatever size you want. And so that's one stamp. So I'm going to go over here and delete it. So let's do the exhibit stamps. So I actually like the rounded version better. And then I'm going to click complete. And then it's asking me for the exhibit number. So I'll say 23. Click OK. And now I can put this wherever I want and size it however I want. So it's pretty cool. Just in case you didn't have any dynamic stamps or everybody has their own preferences for how to do exhibit stamps, but just in case you thought these might be helpful, I wanted to let you know they exist and provide them to you. So 
I hope you can put this to good use.